Hi Air Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily love soulmate relationship. Um, this is gonna be for Sunday the 19th, okay? So let's see what's going on for me. <laughs> okay. I have to be honest, Air Sign. I mean, you know, in the last set, you guys are the last one. I think this is the last time I'm gonna use this deck. <laughs> it's too big. It's hard. It's hard to to use. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. Okay, in extended reading, we're going to see how it pans out and at the same time how they feel towards you in the situation. Okay. Ready? You have here, ooh, Ace of Swords. Look at that. It's like Excalibur, be my strength. Oh, sorry, I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. Okay. So someone is rising up from the from the emotions with their thought. So sometimes, you know, that, that's why the heart is here and the mind is here. We all heard about that. Um, this is about gaining clarity of the situation and not being emotional. And this is you, Earth sign, okay? You're not emotional, I don't think so. I mean, depends on the chart and placing and whatnot. But this is you just wanting to level, at, level it out. You know what? Let's come clean, let's come dry at the same time. This Ace of Swords is coming out of the water, which means, okay, we're gonna have to come up above how we feel each other. Let's just get to the truth, which you guys are never scared of <laughs> as air signs. So let's see here. That's what you're having. Ooh, other person, I don't think they took it nicely. The wounded warrior, it did hurt them guys. If it's a fire sign, you hurt them. That straightforward communication, the whole, let's have a serious talk. Let's have this discussion. If we can get to the next page, we can. But if not, we're not. They didn't take it lightly. I'm sensing they put up their guards up, basically. They're, it's like, no, what are you talking about? I don't even think that they talk, they talk with you. I think they put a wall right away. When they saw that coming, when they saw that you just want the truth and honesty over here, they they kind of like you know it's like no it's not gonna it's not how it's gonna go down this person i think i i'm guessing it's like you guys have encountered this energy already before I, either this is you as a nine of wands you know you're wounded already that's why you have a wall and that's why you want to have the truth you know you're suffering if you didn't bring that to the other person this is what you're encountering right now you're suffering because you have put yourself to, through so much and the nine of ones here, you know, with the, all the spikes over there, it's like, no more. I have to choose myself. I have to protect myself right now. Inflicting of pain. Okay. Oh. And then they have queen of cups. Or you have queen of cups. This is the same water as the swords came out from. You're thinking here that even though how much I care and how much I feel for you, it's like you are just, you're just going to stick with this person, air sign. I don't know why. It's almost like you're walking blinded to the situation. It's like you're allowing, you know, you're not allowing to be hurt. You're not going to be, you know, someone that's just going to be trampled in. But you see how this person is so jaded and so defensive with everything. And for you, you just come here in this energy with the Queen of Cups where it's like, you know what? If you want to hurt me, you can hurt me. But look at me. I'm defenseless over here. I just want to have a talk. I just want to address our feelings. The other person is not on that vibration though. They have spikes all over it and I mean all over them. They're, I don't know if it's a term, a, a brut. You know, it's like, it's like they're not the happiest person. But your intention here is to heal. And I'm sensing you're going to find a way to get them out of that, uh, of that wall, of that barrier. Because the Ace of Swords is behind that, that, that wounded warrior. You are already inside their head, basically. You love this person so much, Air Sign. Almost to the point, it's like, you know, it's like you're hurt. I'm not, I'm not scared if you're gonna hurt me. 
because you trust them that they're not gonna hurt you. It's almost like they're just putting up a front. Like it's like, no, I'm this, you know, no, I'm that. You know, they say it's like you know, the loudest uh, person, you know, it's it's not something that to be threatened about. That's how I'm sensing with this person. Probably this person could hurt a puppy. Okay. And you have your both nine, you have nine of pentacles and the nine of wands. These are all final numbers, you know, 10 is the, uh, uh, 10, uh, 9 is finality and then 10 is the outcome, basically. Okay, so 9 of Pentacles energy is like you are strong and confident with your feelings. And they're strong and confident about how they're guarded. <laughs> but you're, you're not going to waver from this air sign. You're just going to keep going. Because you believe in love, you believe in the feelings that you have for this person. And you believe that that swords, that straight communication will make them open up. And the Nine of Pentacles over here showing that I am not scared of anything because I take care of myself, I nurture myself. Meaning it's like I know what I want and if I want you then what else is there? You know, Nine of Wands also not giving up. The Wounded Warrior is just going to keep fighting. If that's you, you're just going to keep fighting also single person with a nine of pentacles who's the other one is weak nine of wands wounded the other one is strong nine of pentacles so you guys are polarities in this connection okay so i'm going to continue this reading guys on how it pans out and at the same time what are their feelings towards you in the situation have a wonderful wonderful sunday and i'll see you guys again bye